Hey there! Thank you for uh, clicking on this video. I uh, appreciate it. But first, before we start with the questions and the answering, I first want to answer a question. Oh, I guess this is answering. Doesn't matter. Uh, I want to answer a question that was asked by multiple people. And that is the question of what is going to happen with the Salt Shaker episodes. Uh, am I going to delete them from this channel and uh, uplo upload them to the new channel or will I just move them? Well, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to re-upload them to that channel and also keep them on this channel. Uh, and the reason for that is because of the comments, basically. I like the comments on it. Actually, I love the comments on it. And it would be a shame to just see those be deleted for no reason whatsoever. Uh, and if you're wondering, hey, where the fuck are they? Well, I'm gonna tell you this. Uh, I gotta put in a little bit of black frames on every single video at the end if I want to re-upload them. Because YouTube doesn't allow for duplicate uploads. So, and that's a lot of busy work and I should do. I should get to that, but I'm lazy and I'm not, I haven't done it yet. But episode 1 and 9 are on there already, so there you go. Uh, let's start the video now for real, goodbye. The first question comes from, in fact, a news, and uh, they ask, Why do you like anime? Because it's bad. I honestly, I cannot believe you would ask something like this. Uh, of course, anime isn't bad. Anime is amazing. Have you ever watched one? The uh, girls are cute. The action but at the same time, I guess I'll be emotional. The 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 of course, I know there's, the there's some question about anime. That's why I can't even watch those. I'm always on vacation right now. It's coming from the cabinet. I can't believe it. 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 You couldn't even say anime is bad. Even when Corey in the house exists. And I want you to be bad. And I want you to be not here, and you would uh, goodbye. Fuck you. No, but this actual question is, what's your favorite video game? Well, that's uh, that's a difficult one. I've played a lot of video game in my life. Uh, well, the one with the most hours is of course Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Uh, topping up with about let's see here, I think yeah, 830 hours. That's pretty good. Uh, that does mean I have to like it that way. But if I have to go for story. I would say Undertale, honestly, like, you call me bland, but Undertale's just really freaking good. The music, the fucking storyline, the refreshing RPG, whatever the fuck, it's so good. I love it. It's great. And a close second is Super Paper Mario, because it's, like, kind of the same thing. I mean, not really, but, like, shut up, alright? I, I like it. I like them both. I like games with a good soundtrack. Zoom. The next question is from Slap45, just want to say, I love your editing style, I'm excited to see what you do with your content that's exclusively your own. Also a question, what's your worst Isaac boss? First off, thank you for being excited, I'm excited as well. Comments like you help me get hope <laughs> for like, that my channel doesn't die, so thank you. Uh, and the wor worst Isaac boss, actually I have to google it because I don't know the name, but his name is the Matriarch, it's like one of the new, it's, I think it's the newest Alex boss, it's like Chow plus the Splin dude. Uh, yeah, I hate him. Like, you, at that point in the game, you probably have a lot of damage, but if you don't, oh my god, you're in for a friggin' ball of a time. So yeah, the Matriarch can go suck my ass. Uh, next question is from Dragon Slayer 69 Um, he asks me, how many shrooms do you have to eat till your skin turns pink? Well, actually, I just looked it up. Apparently, the pink, uh, I mean, streams are pretty rich. That's true, I will give you that, but... Apparently flamingos don't, they're, they're, their fucking feathers don't turn pink because of the uh, flamingos. That's just like a thing people say, apparently. Well, okay, honestly though, I'm gonna recheck. Tony Burns, uh, <laughs> okay, looks like it's a retired old lady. Oh my god, what the fuck <laughs> am I right now? Can I use powdered cinnamon for abortion? A short answer, no. Thanks a lot, Tony Burns. You you saved the world. Mwah, I love it. Okay, but like, that was a Quora. Quora, and they asked how many they have to eat. Wait, no, Mike actually did it. Oh, wait, Tony Burns actually says the thing. I don't know. It, anyway, my answer to the question is we, we will never know. I'm sorry. And the next question is from Steven Azalazian. If I pronounce that wrong, you may... Lynch me. Um, if Pinocchio said, now my nose will grow, what will happen? Well, it's an age-old, uh, what should we call it, paradox. Because obviously when he says that, it doesn't happen, because he is not lying. But that means he is lying, so that it does grow. But that means he wasn't lying, so that it doesn't go back. So, I guess what, I guess it's just an endless source of friction, isn't it? 
It's just an endless uh, going out and in. We could probably make money off of that. Good job, Steven. You just saved the world. And his next question is, also, what is your favorite video game and anime of all time? Well, favorite anime is absolutely no contest. I already asked the video game thing, like, back in the first question. The favorite anime, no contest, is My Hero Academia. I just, I just can't not. My Hero Academia is so good. It just, it does it. It just totally grasps me every single time. So excited for the fourth season. I haven't read the manga, but it's so good, man. Oh, I miss it. I miss it a lot. You'll probably hear me gush about it many more times, but yeah, that's my favorite anime of all time. But, you know, I have to say I'm up to date with One Piece, so One Piece is up there, just saying. Uh, the next question comes from Groves. He says, I don't want this to sound like a mean-spirited question, so you might have to bear with me. Are you, all, are you at all worried that people will turn away from this channel completely now that Salt Shaker is moving? And is this your first attempt on the Let's Play channel? If yes, what channel you're anticipating now that you have to do both edit videos and provide a comment for it? I know I said one question to start, yeah. And a bit of a greeting asks too. Sorry, I'm curious to see whether these guys are very excited. Well, first off, that's not a mean spirited question at all. The first one, that is actually a very valid concern, which I've of course been thinking about. Uh, the answer is yes. I am a little bit worried about that, but I'm not really worried about it. Like I, I do anticipate it. I really think that uh, like a lot of the people that watch the Salt Checker will not watch my videos, but that's like pretty normal, I think. Uh, but yeah, I'm not particularly worried about it. I want to make my own stuff, and I I like to have like a little foundation foundation right now. But if I can build it from like my own stuff, I don't I don't mind at all. If the people don't want to watch it, they don't have to. And this is actually not my first attempt in the Let's Play channel. Uh, this very channel actually, I got 10 episodes of the Binding of Isaac Rebirth on this, but that was like God. That that that's that that was there was nothing. I had a shitty mic, uh, and my recording software, like my laptop, couldn't even record it without lagging all the time. So it wasn't very, not was wasn't a very serious one. And of course, I've like in 2011 and 12, I tried to do Minecraft let's plays with people. I've done a lot of attempts at this, and I never had done one as serious as this one. So I'm very excited. Like now, I got the equipment. I got a good mic, as you can hear. I got a good uh, PC on which on which to record. Uh, life's good. I, I think this is a, this is one of this is the most serious attempt I've done yet, and the challenges I'm going to see as well, uh, getting comfortable first thing is like it's I'm still kind of nervous about recording videos and talking to you guys and cracking jokes. So, but that that'll come. I know that'll come with time. So that's that's that. Yeah, th very good question. Thank you for that one. Next question is from Gebrotet. Gebrotet? I don't fucking know. Whatever. What are your PC specs? Well, I'll just I know this from the top of my head. I got an i7 core, a 7700 I think, and it's a quad core, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and then I got an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060, which is very good and very nice for recording and stuff. It's actually on this laptop, it's a Lenovo Legion i720, not sponsored. I could not be sponsored at this point, so like, I'm just saying, I got that, I'm very happy with it. Uh, it's doing a good thing, and yeah, I guess that's, that's all I want to know. Oh yeah, I also got 60 gigs of RAM, so that's those are my specs. Next question! And the next question is from Childish Giant. He asked, what languages do you speak? Also, if you're a girl and I said he, I'm sorry. But I, oh god, I almost knocked over my mic. Hello, I'm back. Yeah, my, my language that I speak is, of course, Dutch, native language, English, pretty fluently since I was seven, not to brag, but oh, here I am. Uh, and I guess, like, a little bit of fucking German, a little bit, like, I can't make, I can't read it. I know what it says then, most of the time. Uh, like a very umpu bit of French. Yep, do you see? See, I'm very good at French. Uh, yeah, I know I'm terrible. And uh, for Japanese, I can read the whole hiragana alphabet, which is one of the uh, three alphabets or whatever. I can't make sentences or whatever though. So like, that's all the yeah, that's all the things. Next question. Next question is from Tahir von Bonsai. He asks, which of those games are going to go in blind, or if you played them all? That's a very good question, Tahu. Thank you very much. Um, I already answered that in the reply to this comment, but I'm gonna answer it here too because I think it's very good information. Games I have played: Portal, Portal 2. That's it. All those other games are all blind. Lysa is blind. Everyone was excited for me to play Lysa. I will actually play that long Hollow Knight. So, have we, yeah, that's gonna be fun because I've been interested in that for a while. Eat that as well, and the rest is totally blind. I watched the Quantum Conundrum playthrough like f I don't even know how many years ago. But it was a while ago from the YouTuber Chimney Swift 11. That was a while ago. I don't even watch them anymore. Either way, yeah, that's that. So, there you go. Next question is from Adolf Hitler. <laughs> He's quite famous in the Northern Lion community. 
Uh, his question is, what is your favorite type of pencil? Do you like the ones with a tiny eraser on top, or do you prefer the classic combo regular pencil plus a regular eraser? Thank you for your time. Well, you asked my type of pencil, right? And you gave me two options. Either a pencil with an eraser, or a pencil without one. I don't know, man, but I, I'm going for the pencil with a tiny eraser. Like, what? The other one doesn't even have... What? Why would I not? Dude, this is a bad question. Sorry. But if I had to choose between the one or the two of the combo, I would do the regular eraser combo. Next question! Next question is from I Love Making Cat Girls Cry. Uh, they ask, did George Bush do 9-11 or was it the Zionists? Uh, yep. Totally, you're right. You're correct in what you are saying. What are Zionists? Just go over that real quick. Ah, okay, yeah. All right, got it. Yep. Mm, I think. Uh, I think. Uh, I think. Uh, I think it happens. Uh, next question. Next question is from Avalisis. Uh, what is the airspeed of velocity of an unladen swallow? Also, nice background music choice. First of all, thank you. I got a very good taste in music. And secondly, I will answer that if you can answer me. What is your favorite color? Yeah, that was a bad impression, but I hope the joke gets across. Next question. Uh, next one is from uh, you blending. He's a friend of mine. Actually, I already I already know this guy. He asks me uh, how light is accepted say ochtenduren. I can say can I say ochtenduren at twelve or one or twelve thirty, etc. Well, a little bit background for the English peeps. Ochtenduren means uh, morning hours uh, in English, in Dutch. One of those two. I don't remember what I'm supposed to say there. It's all right. And yeah, he's like ask. I always make like Snapchat and then the morning snap, and it's like ah oh, look, look, look at the morning hours. Look at me. I'm very original and whatever. Anyway, either way, I will. I, I, I'd say it's not acceptable after twelve. After twelve, it's midday hours, and you cannot say oh, morning hours anymore. Anyway, uh, next question: What kind of music do you listen to? Well, right now I am very much in my anime opening phase again. Uh, I just like Japanese music. I like the way they put it. Like, just, just make it. I, I, I really enjoy it. You can call me a weeb. You can call me names. I don't give a shit. I love the music. And if we're called talking non weeb music, I like punk. A lot. Punk pop, punk, punk rock. You can wake me up for that in the morning. Uh, so that's that. Next question. Next question comes from Liquid Glue Man. He asks me, how, was my, how, how my week it was? Well, I thank you for asking. It was very delightful. Next question! Jeremy G asks, um, if you had a truck, what would you put in it? Well, I actually have a few questions for that, because this is just a pickup truck, or is it like a big, big old truckload or whatever? But my answer is another truck, obviously. Like, why, why wouldn't I? Then I have two trucks, and I can just figure out what to put in from there. Just, like, think first, do later. That's what I always say. Next question! Next question comes from Mimey Jojo. He asked me, hey, I right, let's just say you're the girl of your dreams. You found, you marry her. The perfect woman, right? Uh, you've been married for over 40 years. One day you went to a party and some guy slapped her on the balls. What would you do? This is what I would do. If she were the perfect girl, what I would do is I would slap that guy on the balls. And then I hope she would slap me on the balls. And then we got a little cool little triangle going on. I think that would be the best, um, the best case scenario. Yep, I think, yep, uh, that's just the next question. Next question comes from Mr. Noelal. He asks me, my question for the Q&A is very simple. Are you a part of the pineapple pizza gang? Or are you a heaven who rejects the gospel of the glorious king fruit? Well, call me the freaking renaissance, because I am rebelling against the freaking gospel or whatever the fuck you're talking about. Pineapple pizza is not. Nope, I do not like it. I do not enjoy it. I ate it once, made me nauseous, never again, so screw you for liking it. What even our opinions? Screw you. Goodbye. Next question. Next question comes on the Blue Gamma. He says, first, your accent is very lovely. Want to say thank you for that, because that's always like... I think that's a worry for most people, how their voices sound, but apparently it sounds nice to you guys. So, or at least to you. One person is enough for me, so thank you very much. Um, his question is, what is the video you have had the most fun creating? Well, I mean, come on. There's absolutely no contest. It has to be the online for this ultra hard video. It took me a freaking month to make, but it was so much like, okay, it wasn't fun all the time. A lot of time was also kind of boring, busy work, because you do the same things over and over and over. But it, te it taught me a lot, and the end result, I just love it. Some of the watch, it just like be like, oh, I did this, I made this, I, I created this. And it makes me happy. I still have the file to the video editing to this day uh, on my computer. I never deleted that one. Um, yeah, that, that has to be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. That has to be the one that uh, 
I had the most fun creating. This is no contest. But thinking about it... I mean, okay. Making the embod embodiment of Zany like the first one was also very fun because that was actually the first time I did it seriously, you know? Like, I added it seriously. And that also blew up, so like, I really enjoyed making that as well. Man, I was so crazy. I was like, oh my god, I, I made the text bounce up and down. Wow, look at me, I'm... Oh, that's crazy. How, how did I do that? Yeah, and so... That's where it all started, so yeah, there you go. Next question. Next question comes from the real Turnal. I can't believe we have the real Turnal here. Dude, Turnal is amazing. You don't know him? Ah, it's fine. Don't do that. Uh, he says, he asks, do you have a particular moment of salt that you like the best? Well, yeah, from the Salt Shaker series, absolutely. A few ones. Um, I like the one where it was like, he said, you know, you know what would tie this run together? Holy water. And then he got it. That was really, that was good. And thank you, game, for that one. And the other one is when he uh, had to leave some scar. I think it was the... No, it's not the, no, it's not the first one. It's the second episode. And then he gets into the room with the ears of Scarra and uh, with Envy. Like, fucking that whole room is just gold. He just fucking even talks about the type space time continuum at one point. You should watch it. So, uh, one time he says, he, yeah, it's, it's a good episode. Though I think those two are the best. But of course, every single dry baby is good. The friggin' episode where he was um, immortal was also very good. Uh, yeah, and I, of course the guts. I mean, yeah, the, 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 from the top of my head, those are the ones I really enjoy. Either way, next question. Next question comes from Squarehead, Squ Squarehead, Squarehead PL. He asks me, "Are you good at video games?" Uh, well, little background. I think I seriously started playing video games when I was seven. Mario Galaxy, Super Mario Galaxy was my first video game that I think seriously played. And that was really good, but like, so I've been playing video games pretty much without a break since for 11 years now. Um, and I think I'm above the uh, above the skill level of the average person. I'm gonna say I'm gonna regret saying that probably. You will see. <laughs> I'll probably fuck up many times, but yeah, I think I'm above average. Next question. Next question comes from Dalton Blah. Thanks for telling us where you live, Yelmer. He says hunting you down now. Your time is limited, duck. Uh, I will warn you, I, uh, was, I did jujitsu for like a year, so fucking watch me back, buddy, you will always need a bit of sleep. Um, he, he says he's looking forward to my agate stuff, I love it, uh, and original content as well, so that's good. Uh, and his question is why a duck tells Avatar? Well, basically, because Louis Duck is my spirit animal, he's so chill, he's cool, I like him. I like him a lot, I just like the way he exists, so, you know. I was actually thinking about it. Would I get in trouble for like using him as, using him as the uh, channel mascot? Because he is copyrighted. But I think I don't need to in the future, but we'll see, you know? For now, he'll just stay my avatar and uh, we'll see what goes from there. Next question. Next question comes from... Uh, he says, what is your credit card number and where do you live? Well, my credit card number doesn't exist because I do not have a credit card. And I live in the Netherlands. I already told you, dude, were you even paying attention? Next question. The next question comes from Jesus or really um, he uh, says good luck dude. Thank you for that And he has a lot of questions actually the first question is where did young malicious come from? Uh, well, it uh, actually came from my f the first uh, friend I the, the first online friend I made that was like via Minecraft obviously uh, His name was Houston. Uh, if you see this Houston, that'd be really cool But I don't think it will but he just called me that one day and I don't know it stuck with me And I decided to use it as my username and now it still is like freaking Seven years later, eight years later, so that's where it came from. It's pretty cool. He asked me favorite game genres. Well, I gotta say, like, rhythm games are fun. Always a really good fun time for me. Platformers always do it for me. Um, let's see, some visual novels are great too. Mystery visual novels are awesome. Um, and RPGs, Japanese RPGs, they, they do it for me as well. I think that those are their favorite game genres. Obviously, roguelike, but that's a bit obvious. Uh, favorite games, I already like said that in earlier questions, Super Mario My Undertale, you know it. Favorite Jaros, I just I just told you. Favorite favorite uh what are you talking uh, that's that's just that's just let's just move on. Next question. Mm, the next question comes from Cthulhu, because why not? He asks me he asks me what is your actual job? Well my actual job is uh, is a call center job. Uh, I call outbound, which means I call people, and I work at Sonoma, which is uh, a company uh, which uh, produces magazines in my country like Donald Duck is one of the magazines you, you guys won't know them. there's no point in listening to them either way I I uh, call the people that have got like a subscription and I ask them would you like one with a uh, nice uh, with, with like money off would you like it and they're like no most of the time but sometimes they're yes but it's it's fun it's it's 
allowing me to speak. No, some, no, okay, that's a way way to put it. It's teaching me how to speak, sort of. Because I speak all day. I've, I've worked today too, and it's it's pretty fun, and it's teaching me how to conversate. And I think those skills are actually very helpful for what I will do here. Uh, and it's helping me grow, absolutely. It's, it's really good. Thank you for asking that one. Um, it's a really good question. And uh, next question. Mm, next question comes from Alex Brown. He uh, first asked me what's your favorite game. I already answered that one. Are, are you even paying attention? Um, and... But the second one is, and do you like RPGs? Yeah, I do like RPGs. If we're talking about Japanese RPGs, like the ones from top down and the turnstile combat, I do like RPGs. I've never really played RPGs like The Witcher or Skyrim though. If you could like, I don't know how widely it's called that, but I don't do not play those kinds of games. I could, totally I could. I, I maybe I should try it one day, stream it, whatever. We'll see how it goes. But like as as of this moment, I do not play those kind of games. But I do play Japanese RPG. So, uh, yeah, that's your question. That's your answer. Next one! Question, I mean. Next question! Next question com comes from Black Mask. He asks me, Since you clearly played Deltarune, or at least saw it, what are your thoughts on it? Yeah, I did play it. I, uh... I actually couldn't play it before, like when it came out at the very moment, because I wasn't working, great, great going. Then when I got home, I played it immediately, and I was like, what the fuck is this shit? I thought it was a survey, and then I just played it for like four hours straight. Played it like in one, uh, in one sitting, and I loved it, basically. It, look, it looks great, the soundtrack is amazing, the secret was super awesome. Um, and I'm really excited to see what uh, Toby Fox has in store in us for the future. So yeah, I love it so far. And uh, next question! Next question comes from Meh something Sue, and that's all I can read. Uh, and he asked me, will you do it in a weekly schedule or a random day whatsoever? That's a very good question, actually, because I did not uh, address that in my update video. Good that you ask it now, because I haven't really thought about it, but as for now, I will just do it randomly. And I will try to do it every weekend, but if it doesn't happen, I'm not, like, I'm not promising anything. Because uh, I do have a pretty busy life. I work from... Monday to Thursday from uh, 2 o'clock, 2 p.m. till uh, like half past 8. So that's, I'm, I'm working a lot pr pretty much for my age at least. And I will try, I will do my best to like give you guys content. I've already like recorded the first Hollow Knight episode. Just gotta edit it, but like I will just see how it goes. So you could also get two episodes in a week that way or three or four and maybe every day. But like it's gonna be sporadic for the first few uh, times so just yeah just bear with me before that one thank you for asking that one it's a very good one uh, next question yeah mm, the next question comes from Mega Man guy he asks me what my favorite binding of Isaac item is uh, honestly I do not have a set one there's a lot of fun items I mean brimstone obviously polyphemus all, all up there of course uh, but I think the most fun item for me is actually mom's box I think I like mom's box the most so I like trinkets all right uh, next question the final question comes from comes from Ollie Thompson. They ask, I hope I'm not too late, but I want to know when your birthday is. Well, it's a very simple question, and my birthday is August 16th, and I was born in 2000. So, write it on your calendars, because it's a good day for me, which I enjoy. So, yeah. Next question. Just kidding. It's the final one. Well, that's uh, the end of the Q&A video. Um, thank you for all the people that asked questions. I got 26 in total that I answered in this video. Uh, it's fucking crazy that I got that many questions, and I love you guys for it, really. Uh, I hope you guys stick around for, like, the future of this channel. I hope you were also satisfied with the answers of my questions. To the questions, to your questions, to my answers to your questions. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!